Hi, I'm Tara Blackburn and I teach here at the Wilmington Yoga Center. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the introduction to prenatal yoga. So for these exercises today, all you'll need is a mat and some space. So many moms-to-be have questions about whether or not they can continue their yoga practice once they've conceived. By aligning the body and focusing mostly on your breath and on your limits, yoga can absolutely be experienced um, once you're pregnant. First and foremost, you want to make sure that you can discuss this with your doctor and let your doctor know your desire to practice yoga. So five tips. The first tip is to um, breathe. Always breathe. You want to make sure the breath is long and deep. This breath can expand, help expand the lungs, so it helps when you're in labor. Tip number two is to move slowly and to always, more than usual, usually we always focus on our bodies in yoga practice, but you want to focus more so and really notice more about what your body's telling you. Tip three is you want to make sure that you do not ever come on down to the belly. So you never want to do any belly down poses. If you do and you are quite uh, the experienced practitioner, you know when to take uh, care. Otherwise, never bring that belly onto the floor. So tip number four is to always keep a foot on the floor. This keeps your blood pressure from spiking. So if you are not an experienced practitioner, you should probably avoid any type of inversion at all. Tip number five is to not worry so much about keeping proper exact alignment. You can open up the hips a little more since our hips will be open. So when we come into warrior pose, instead of keeping that heel to heel alignment, you can allow that right foot to step over more and for the hips to open. So when you inhale, it's a little more comfortable and you're a little more stable. So those are five tips that you can use for when you're pregnant. Practicing yoga is awesome for any pregnant mama to be, just to keep the joints and the bones and muscles limber. Just always make sure you take care of yourself. If this is gonna be the only uh, type of exercise that you have, um, during your pregnancy, make sure you do it at least three times a week. But always take rest and alternate between challenging postures and restorative and nurturing postures. And just take care of yourself and your baby.